new day, a new class. Let's hope everybody connect pretty soon. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, sister. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. You look relaxed. You look relaxed tonight. Yes, yes. I I I leave early to my house. I arrive. I arrive. Yes, yes. I arrive. Um, I take a shower. I um, took. I took. I took. It's I took. Okay, I took a shower. I and uh, I had have dinner my ready. I had dinner. Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm ready for the class. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. It's great yes. when you are like relaxed, cool. You are fresh for the class. Yes. It's good. Hey, yes, look. exactly. There's Anna. Anna is wearing a uniform with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are. Yeah, she's going to be the partner for the class tonight. Okay, let's see. Tonight we are going to talk about prepositions of place. We're going to talk about addresses. That's going to be easy, simple. Teacher, a question. In, yes. in the plata, platform, platform. Uh, platform, the manual uh, no está en esta semana, this weekend. Oh, really? Sí, no, no me parece. Lo buscamos con Andrés ahora y no, no estaba. Yo me acabo de meter a, a, la, a la plataforma, la unidad 4, para, para ver el manual de la unidad y no aparece. Está en blanco el archivo. Ok, ok. Let me report it. Déjeme reportarlo en este momento. Ok. Hello, Andrew. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Good evening. man. How are you? Times, times of fine to see you. <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that's where I already reported. I hope they see it soon. Espero que lo vean lo más pronto posible. Okay. Let me check. Let me check. I got access to it. Uh -huh. Let me see. Record. Okay. Let's see. Students manual. Let's see one. Yeah, I'm just checking in this moment. That's weird. Let's see. Unit three is complete. Just let me see that I am going to send them a screenshot. Le voy a mandar una fotografía a ellos. Solo denme un segundo, okay? Oh, hello. I'm fine. Great, great. Erika, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Um, fine. That's good, excellent. So today, let's see, but first of all, let's review a little bit from last week. Last week, what were we working? Do you remember? ¿Qué trabajamos? Let's see, what do you remember, Cesar? Oh, I remember the W questions. The WH questions. Um, the, the activities. In, in my work. Okay, perfect. And the last topic, they remember the prepositions of time. Yes, we, preposition of time. We were using on, in, at, at, referring to time. Today, we are going to work with on, in, at, but referring to places. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys, right now, check out in your WhatsApp. I sent you the whole manual, complete, okay? As a PDF. Si revisamos en el WhatsApp ahorita, les he enviado el manual completo, como un PDF, okay? Because uh, there was no access. So let's see. WH questions. Mayra, Mayra, where are you? In my house. Yes, but is it the same place? No, it's not the same place. You twisted. <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. I can tell that Andres is always in exactly the same spot. Andres yeah. siempre está exactamente en el mismo lugar. The same as Ana. Hey, look, who's next? <laughs> Oh, there's Carlos connecting. Yeah, okay, perfect. Two, four, six. Well, 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 let's see, let's see. And just let me send the last message so we can work. Vamos a cambiar el último Perfect. Now, WH questions. 
remember we use the wh questions when we want to make uh, when we want to get information from a person that's why they are also called information questions very important remember when we are structuring sentences using the wh questions they always go at the beginning siempre al inicio okay always always the wh questions go at the beginning of the sentence not at the end okay remember that it's very important it doesn't matter if you are talking about the verb be like uh, i come and i ask you what is your name verb be what is your name if it's another verb where do you work before the auxiliary do we have where so the wh questions always come right at the beginning of the sentence all the time okay now let's remember something else from last class we were also working with uh, the activities from the workplace what do you do i was asking what do you do on your workplace what are the activities we also work with schedules do you remember we were talking about schedule horario and remember that when we talk about the schedules we put everything in a certain order and for telling the time we say at like i have a meeting at a.m like tomorrow tomorrow i have a meeting at noon exactly at noon at 12 p.m i got a meeting tomorrow so i have it already on my agenda remember also that when we are saying like uh, dates we say in december january march okay if we are being specific on dates remember we use on monday on tuesday in the weekend uh, it's very important that we practice because these expressions you are only going to get them through practice it's very important that you always always practice them otherwise it's going to be a little bit harder for you to remember them okay now let's see as i told you today we are going to work with the prepositions of place we are going to talk about addresses there are no doubt word addresses ¿Conocemos esa palabra? Yes, teacher. Direc direcciones. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. So, the word is address. If we are just talking about one. If we are in plural, it's addresses. So, remember. Address. And remember, addresses. Okay? Now, with this word, be very, very careful in singular. Hey, look, there's Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. There's Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jenny. How are you? Fine. Fine, teacher. Okay, great, great. Mm, Jenny looks different. Her hair looks different. Yeah, I can tell, I can tell. Okay. Now, I was uh, telling you about the, the word address. Address means direction. Addresses, direcciones. But listen, right now I'm going to address a topic. Referirse a. You can use that word also as a verb. Okay? Esa palabra también se utiliza como un verbo. To address. 
But right now we are not going to focus on that. We are going to focus on the address, okay? Addresses, places, locations. And in order to start the class, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, Cesar, you drive, no? Yes, Cesar. Okay, Cesar. Imagine that I am at Salvador del Mundo and I need to go to Galerías Escalón. How do I get to Galerías Escalón from Salvador del Mundo, please? Mm, yeah. Bueno, si le entendí, ¿cómo hacer para llegar? Yes. Okay, I take a Paseo General Escalón. Okay. Uh, you drive for three blocks. Perfect. Three blocks and cruzar. cruzar. Turn. Turn to the right. And Turn to the right. Turn to the right. And here... Um, the in, in, in in and the, there's the entrance the entrance the entrance for the parking okay perfect excellent it's exactly like that i drive three blocks from salvador del mundo going by paseo general escalon mm -hmm. after three blocks you don't need to be that specific you just say after three blocks it's on your right okay? okay because i was going up remember i told him that i was at salvador del mundo okay now jenny you drive also no yes teacher now jenny i am at salvador del mundo but i need to get to uh, universidad francisco gavidia how do i do how do i get there uh, I take Alameda Roosevelt. Okay, perfect. Uh, y, um, the turn. Cruzar a la derecha, no sé. Turn right. Turn, turn right. Okay. Y, y ya llegué. And that's it. Okay. What you can say in this case is, and you are there. And you are there. That means, ya llegó. Okay. okay. So you see, for telling addresses, it's simple. Re let's remember, let's practice some vocabulary. We have a... Uh, Avenue, Avenue, Street, Blocks, uh, Boulevard. Boulevard is not difficult. It's the same word. Let's see. Boulevard is. Oops. Boulevard. Boulevard. And let's see another one. Okay, now Alameda, in this case, like she told me, Alameda in English is the is the same if you are by car. If it's one where cars go, it's the same. Si es la misma por la que circulan los automóviles. You say boulevard, okay? It's the 
different word. But there's a small variation. In English, uh, there's also something that it's called boardwalk. Esa es una alameda peatonal. Boardwalk. It's like, uh, let's see, oh, Paseo del Carmen, you know Paseo del Carmen? There at night in the streets, you walk in the street. So at night they are boardwalk, okay? There's also sidewalk, acera. And let's see. There's also roadside. Do you know this one? Roadside. Now, look at this word. There's roadside and there's ditch. Uh, Actually, both are the same. Lambas son cunetas. But roadside is the most, the one that we here in El Salvador call cuneta. La que va a acabar a la orillita de la calle. It's narrow, es angostita. Okay, where the water runs. Now, ditch is the cuneta, but like in, oh, carretera de oro. You see, it's deep. It's bigger. En algunos lugares la cuneta es honda. It's like this. Instead of going just with a small, slow inclination, it's deep. That's ditch. Okay? Let's see. Let's see. Another word for this. Vocabulary. How do you, how do you say camino? Roll. Roll. Like this. Look at the chat, roll. Pasaje. Oh. Well. Mm. It's just a problem because, uh, how can I explain this? It's actually the word pasaje is passage. But um, in English, you don't use the word passage for the same as in Spanish. Because we use it the same. Uh, ¿Cómo les explico eso? Hold on, hold on. The thing is this. Pasaje is, is a small, you can say, path, que es camino, okay? But in the way we use it here in El Salvador, it doesn't exist. De la manera como lo usamos acá, no existe. Okay? So there's not a word, an equivalent for that. Let me see another word, oh, that we are going to need. Uh, traffic light. Traffic light. Semáforo. And remember, stop, sign now. We just say, alto, stop sign now. Let me see, is there another one? Uh, 
Y redondel, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Redondel, ¿cómo? Roundabout. Roundabout. Yeah, roundabout. Let me remember how you write it. Hold on, because it's not a word that I use regularly. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, roundabout. 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 Round about. Roundabout. That's redondel. Let me see if there was another one uh, that I was trying to remember. Let's see. I'm trying to remember for one. Estoy queriendo recordarme de una. Just give me a second. But mostly that's the that's the vocabulary we use. And there's also um, mount. Mount. Tumulo. Mount is tumulo. Let's see what else. Gee, it's a lot of vocabulary. Bastante vocabulario. Let me see what else, what else, what else. Am I missing something? Can I be like one? Retorno. Hmm. That's a return. It doesn't change. Actually, in English, what you call them are exits. That's the way. Uh, uh, freeway, lo que se conoce como freeway. Oh, freeway. Thank you. Freeway. Okay. Freeway is an. Freeway, we don't have freeways Pista. here in El Salvador. Yeah. Let me see. Yes. But a freeway actually is something more specific. It's an autopista. True. But when you talk about a freeway, you are talking about uh, one here in El Salvador, we don't have them because a freeway gets like, oh, it has lanes. It has many lanes. Tiene muchos carriles. Those are lanes. A freeway can have like eight lanes and it got many exits. Okay. And freeways go around a city. Okay. The freeways are constructed. You have the city, the freeway goes around the city. Okay. The freeways son un tipo de carretera que va alrededor de las ciudades. That's why they have many exits. Por eso tiene muchas salidas. Because uh, depending on the area of the city you are going, you take exit 11, exit 45, or the exit with the name. Okay? But uh, a freeway here, we don't have them because we have what? The most close to that. ¿Cuál es el más cercano? This one that is uh, around Santa Tecla by Merdiot. Monseñor Romero. Exactly. That's the closest Monseñor. the closest we got. Thank you, Cesar. La más cercana que tenemos es esa, because it's very wide. Okay? Freeways are like that. And in a freeway, you are supposed to go from around 50 miles, between 50 and 60 miles an hour. En el freeway vamos rápido. Okay? Because, I mean... If there's just a lane in a freeway. There's one lane that is special for people who go very slow. Okay. So let's see. What else? What else? Do we have more vocabulary? Please tell me. Tell me. Tell me. 
I think that's it, no? I guess that's the vocabulary. Freeway, highway. We also have highways. Highways are different. Uh, hmm. Let's see, how do I express a highway? A freeway and a highway are a little bit similar, but highways are narrow. Un highway va alrededor de una ciudad, pero es narrow, es más angosto. And once in a while, a highway got traffic lights. Un highway allá, una distancia bien larga, tiene traffic lights. Okay? Whereas a freeway doesn't. Un freeway no tiene, no tiene semáforo, okay? Doesn't have uh, traffic lights at all, okay? A freeway, no traffic lights, and why? A highway, some traffic lights, and it's narrow. Let's see, what else, what else, what else do we need? Cruce, teacher. What? Cruce. Cruce. Oh, that's a turn. Oh, what you mean is, uh, let me see the word, the specific word that we need. Uh, yeah, that's a turn. Or you can say vehicular crossing. If you want to be specific, you say vehicular, let me type it for you guys, vehicular crossing, okay? Uh, Teacher, how do you say retain? Mm. You mean policial. Wow, you're really, really squeezing me. That's, uh, let me see, once I was stopped at one, una vez me tuvieron en one. Okay, police checkpoint. That's a police checkpoint. Okay, retén policial. Police checkpoint. Wow, you're squeezing me with vocabulary. That's good. Is there anything else? Let's see. Algo más que se nos puede escapar. Oh. Another word to say, Alameda. This one goes for Alameda. Parkway. Parkway. That's specifically for Alameda, okay? If parking is, it's for kill. Yeah, a parking lot, parking lot. Parking lot, parqueo. Now there's something funny, you see, there's parkway, parkway is Alameda, cars go by, but in English we have also driveway. And it's funny because you drive in the parkway, but you park in the driveway. It's kind of weird, no? Esto es un poquito raro. Usted conduce por un parkway, pero a veces nos parqueamos en un driveway. Driveway is the, have you seen in the, well, in some houses they have it, mine doesn't. Somehow says they have it that you are you are getting from the street. There's the house. You leave the street, and the little space between the street and the garage. That little space is the driveway. Okay, el pequeño espacio entre la calle y la puerta del garage, donde a veces dejamos los carros, verdad? No lo metemos en la casa. 
that's a dry way. Kind of weird, no? So you park in the driveway and you drive in the parkway. Funny, no? English is kind of weird sometimes. En inglés es un poquito raro a veces. Okay. Uh, any question? Up to here? Wow, we have many words, a lot of vocabulary. Let's see. Let's continue. Well, right now I'm going to share with you something of a part of the things we are going to check. But before that, let's check the vocabulary, the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Do you have your chat on? Tienen el chat abierto? So you can see the vocabulary, all the words that I have placed. I will pronounce them for you. La voy a pronunciar para ustedes. Address, addresses, and you are there. Avenue, street, blocks, boulevard, boardwalk, boardwalk, sidewalk, roadside, ditch, road, path, traffic light, stop sign up, roundabout, mound, exit, freeway, lane, highway, vehicular crossing, police checkpoint, parkway, parking lot, driveway. Okay, great. Now let's see, guys. In the manual, this is page 39. Okay. And let me see. We have different places here. We have a bank. We have a mall restaurant, sport palace, park, arrows company, school, church, city hall, book world. Okay, now with this, uh, questions with the vocabulary, do you know what is city hall? That's alcaldía, okay? We have Marius Street, we have Second Avenue, and we have Roosevelt Street. Now, when we talk about places, uh, I'm sorry, but today we need to get all the vocabulary because we are going to use it the whole week. Ahora, este día vamos a tomar mucho vocabulario porque es parte del que vamos a estar usando varios días en la semana, okay? Now, places. We have a mall. Mall is like a multiplaza is a mall. Galerías is a mall. Metrocentro, those are malls, okay? And we also have, uh, let's see. Coffee shop, okay? We have bookstore, now be careful not to get confused with bookstore and library. Why? Because in a bookstore you go and buy books. And in a bookstore usted va y compra libros. In a library you go sit and read a book. Okay? So library, I mean, don't get uh, confused because the sound of library is similar to librería en español. The sound is very similar and we can get confused because actually library is biblioteca, whereas bookstore is librería. Okay? So let's try to remember that. Let's see another type of business. Otro tipo de negocios. Oh, remember, city hall, alcaldía. Mm. 
let's see, let's see, what else, what else, what else? ¿Qué otro tipo de negocios tenemos? Hospitals. Hospitals, thank you. Very important, hospitals. Church. 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 Perfect, church. And let's Police see. department. Police. Police station. Police station. Station. Yeah, police station. Supermarket. Supermarket. Yes, thank you. Bomberos. Fire. Bomberos. Fire. Fireman. Fire station. Fire station. <laughs> Fire station. Okay. Fireman is the person. Okay. Fireman is the person. El fireman es el bombero, la persona. Ok. Drugstore. Ok, drugstore. Drugstore. There's a drugstore. There's Food also. Drug. <laughs> ok. Yeah, there are restaurants. And apart from the drugstore, there's another word also. And it's. Let's see, pharmacy. Okay, and there's also a difference there. Pharmacy. What's the difference? Okay, the thing is this. Uh, in a drugstore, there can be a person who prepares a medicine. Okay, who can mix and prepare a medicine. In a drugstore, puede haber una persona que pueda mezclar. Or perhaps to tell you, to give you instructions about the medicine. In a pharmacy, you just go and buy. Okay? But in a drugstore here in El Salvador, it doesn't happen. But in some countries, you can bring to the drugstore your, your uh, prescription you can bring your prescription and depending on the on the type of drug you are taking they prepare it for you okay that's the difference between a drugstore and a pharmacy that's why you can see both things and they sell things in common but the difference is that in a drugstore they can prepare something else the drugstore is un poquito más completa porque ellos pueden preparar and in a pharmacy, just what comes from the lab, okay? Uh, drugstores are not that common here in America. The drugstores no son tan comunes acá en America, but in some cities in the United States, you can find them. En algunas ciudades las pueden encontrar. Because some people, uh, their prescription is not something specific, so they mix components, okay? Yeah, in some movies, uh, I think there appears pictures like that. Creo que en algunas películas salen imágenes similares. But that's the main difference. Okay, let's see another location. Uh, let's see, bookstore, library. Coffee. Bus, bus station. Okay, perfect. Bus station. Park. Bus, bus stop. Thank you, Daniel. Living in park. Bus stop. Simple, no? La parada de bus. Okay? That's the bus stop, bus station. And let's see, cab terminal. First of all. Cab terminal. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Cab terminal. Do you know what is a cab? A cab is the same as a taxi. Okay? If you are talking about a taxi, you can say a cab. It's the same word, okay? It means exactly the same. Significa lo mismo, cab and taxi. Wow, I got many vocabulary. Let's see, let's see. Uh, restaurant. School. Restaurant. School. Stores, yes. 
schools. Okay. Uh, let's see. They say store, restaurant, school. Remember, colegio is private school. You talk about the colegio, that's a private school. Okay. And gas station. Okay, yes. It's already there. There's also runway. Runway, that's something that there are in some streets and people here in El Salvador, they don't use it. I don't know why. The runway, hay muchas acá y la gente no las quiere usar. They go over a street. They go over. If there's a street, the runway is, you get up the Exactly that, Jennifer. That's a runway. Okay. But the thing is, the wrong way is that uh, is the same word that people use for the for the models. So, in that case, not to get confused, what you can say is, para no confundirnos, the wrong way. It's also applied for the one where the models walk. Uh, we can say pedestrian walkway. Okay, pedestrian walkway. That's a pasarela. Okay, pedestrian walkway. Because if you say runway, the, the runway, this pas uh, the models pasarela. Yes, exactly. If you say runway, it's for models. Okay. For models. I'm telling you both words so you don't get confused. Les digo ambas palabras por si en alguna ocasión las buscan en un diccionario, no se confundan. Runway, pasarela. But pedestrian walkway, the ones las que tenemos que tomar que están en las calles. Wow, a lot of vocabulary. I think that's it. Creo que eso es todo, no? If not, we are going to see along the way, okay? Now, let's see. Way. Camino o ruta, okay? Thorns. Remember, cruces. Thorns. Let's see. Is there another one? Uh, what do you, how do you say paso de cebra? Gee. That's stripe. Wow, you got me there. I see me agarró. Don't remember that. Zebra pass. No, 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 no. I, I, I remember. I remember, I remember. It's just that, that it's not vocabulary that I use every day, but I just remember. It's a crosswalk. Crosswalk, okay? Where people must cross the street. That's a crosswalk. Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good that you ask me so I can remember all that vocabulary. It's great. Qué bueno que me preguntan, así me acuerdo de todo eso. Crosswalk. Any other question? Any other vocabulary? I think that's it, no? Creo que por el momento eso sería todo. We got a lot of vocabulary today. Tenemos muchísimo vocabulario. And we are going to use some of it. Not all today, but some of it. It's going to be used today. So let's go back to the map. Okay, guys. Did you check your, your WhatsApp group? The manual? ¿Ya vieron el manual en el grupo de WhatsApp? Yes? Because we are going mm -hmm. to work with that today. Now, let's see. 
and let me check we are right here okay we have the bank the sport palace the mall the restaurant the arrows company now i'm going to make it smaller question number one which street is the restaurant on what is the restaurant in which street Can you see it? Which that significa? Qual? Which? Qual? Which? Which street is the restaurant on? We have it here. You see? Here in Avenue it. Roosevelt Street. In Roosevelt Street. Okay. What I want you to focus is that we are using on. Okay. Which street is the city hall on? Oh, the city hall is on Roosevelt Street. Okay. Which street is the park on? The park is... In this case, the park is... You can say it's on Roosevelt Street, or you can say it's in Barrio Street, or you can say it's on First Avenue, or in Second Avenue. Or you can say is in First Avenue between Roosevelt and Barrios. Okay, now let's check that vocabulary. That vocabulary we are going to see this week, during the week, but I'm just going to mention it today. Ese día no nos vamos a enfocar en esas palabritas, pero sí se las voy a mencionar. Between, entre. Okay, between means entre but between two different things like right here i have a pencil i have a highlighter and i have a pen the pencil is between the pencil is between the pen and the highlighter okay i am telling you this because if you look up the words you still busca la palabra Entre también va a encontrar among. What's the difference? Oh, among it's entre varios. Between just two. Okay, entre dos. That's the difference. When you say between, you are being specific. If you use among, you refer to a big group. Like in my screen, uh, Carlos is among all of you. En mi pantalla, Carlos está entre todos ustedes. I am telling you this because among actually could be, nosotros podríamos decir en medio de, but in English, en medio de es in the middle of. That's different. Okay? So among is entre varios. Between is just between two, okay? Entre dos, en medio de dos, okay? Now, let's see, let's continue. Let's see, um, okay. Let's see, Cesar, I'm going to ask you, I'm sorry, Cesar, but I just remember that you live close. Tell me, where's Uca University? Uh, repeat, please. I don't hear. I don't where's, hear where's Uca University? Where's? It's in the... What's it called? Boulevard Los Proceres. Okay. Boulevard Los Proceres. Los Proceres Boulevard? Los Proceres Boulevard. And... No sé qué otra cosa. Another reference yeah. I can have? I got a referencia que puedo tener? In front of a Cuscatlan Tower. Okay, in front of Cuscatlan Tower. Excellent. In front? Yes. Oh, no, it's, it's next. Next to? Next, yes, yes, next. Next to? Next to Cuscatlan. Okay, perfect. Tower. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Jenny, tell me, where 
es la garita? Eh, la garita es after eh, Avenue Juan Bertis. Ok. Y, y, That's, Juan y, Bertis es the one that goes to Ciudad Delgado. Sí, yes. It, también está... And the beginning of the of the five of November Street. Y el inicio de la cinco es... de abril. Okay. Sí. So it's Así. in the corner of. Okay. It's on the corner of. Okay. En la esquina. Yes, on the corner of. Okay. Okay. It's complex. I mean, when we are giving addresses, sometimes it's, we feel it like oh, it's difficult but it's not that difficult because we just need actually i mean we gave a lot of vocabulary but it's related to everything but when you are giving addresses it's not that difficult like cesar said oh, okay uca is by uh, uh, los process boulevard next to uh, cusco plant tower and that's that's a reference point for everybody i mean that thing is tall you can see it from far away Okay. Sometimes we use another place as reference. Okay, now let's see. Okie dokie. Now we're going to get to the hard thing, to the main thing. Ahora vamos a llegar ya a lo más grueso de nuestra clase. Just give me a second. Sorry guys, before we continue, I need to take the attendance. Okay, let's see. Carlos Alberto Menéndez. Present. Great. Mayra Ileana Cordeto. Present. Good. By the way, today is 24th. Yes. Okay. Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Thank you. Maybelline Michelle Martinez. Here. Erika de Carmen Colocho. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Great. Jose Reinaldo Sandoval, not here. Claudia Patricia Granados. She's there. Okay. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Perfect. Cesar Humberto López. Present. Jenny Lisette Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jose Bersolis, here. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Mm, absent. Daniel Arturo Montes. Present. Thank you. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thank you. Marcos Ivan. Oh, it's also absent, Marcos. Crisia Madeline. Absent. Maybelline Janira, absent. Carla Yvonne, absent. And Julio Alonso, absent. Okay. I wonder for Vicente and Marcos. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me share with you something from the manual, page number 40. Okay, look, on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work, 
at the bank. Okay, I will repeat. On 4th Avenue. On 4th, 4th Avenue. On the corner. On the street. In El Salvador. In San Salvador. In the park. In the neighborhood. At the meeting room. At work at the bank okay now we have exercise five complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place we are going to do that exercise as a group but remember on you use it when you refer to the street when you refer to the avenue the boulevard okay in when you refer to inside the park cuando se refiere dentro de un lugar at when you are talking about a specific place at lo utilizamos cuando nos referimos a un lugar específico at the meeting room at work at the bank ok now we have this remember please to get this image Tenemos esta imagen lista because I'm going to divide you as group. Porque lo voy a dividir en grupos para que lo resolvamos. Teacher, yes? uh, one question. Tell me. What is, what is his neighborhood? Vecindario. Okay, thanks. Okay. Neighborhood, neighborhood. That's vecindario. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to divide you in groups. Let's see. And you are going to join the groups right now. Please join the groups. Waiting for you guys. Let's see, everybody's getting into the groups. Okay, let's connect to the small groups. Just check it out. The two no. sería the factory is located in la libertad. In la libertad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> swallow. Swallow. <laughs> Do you know that word? No, ¿qué significa? Swallow. Tragar. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Okay. Three is we see, we you. see you at or at or at the cafeteria. At the cafeteria. It's cafeteria. 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 We see a training room. Oh. Anna yeah. works. In the company that in town. Yes. Okay. My relationship is also. 
Number five. My relation to God mm -hmm. is that on, on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. Mm -hmm. yeah. tell, tell him that. Tell him that. Number six. Yeah. Tell him that. We are. What? Uh, tell him that we are. Oh. On, on Roosevelt Street, number five is on. Um, number six, tell, tell him that we are uh, in and that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Uh, teacher. Yes, tell me. And the number five, the preposition at, está, ya está ahí. Oh yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that. A number? Number six. Six, yes. Tell him number that six. we are at the meeting room, yes. It was a typo. Un error a la digital. Ah, okay, okay. Entonces, Just five. Es, it's correct. <laughs> so, uh, tell him that we are at the meeting room with, with everybody. Okay. Yes, we are going yes. to go there right now. Because it's time okay. already. Ya fue tiempo okay. suficiente. Yes. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Welcome. Okay, everybody's here, almost, almost everybody. Okay, guys, let's see, let me see. Hmm. I got an image, but it's very small. Because I wanted to tell you something about the, how to use the prepositions. So let me see if I can show it because in the presentation it looks pretty small. So what we are going to do is to paste it in another document. Yes, like this. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. No, it doesn't work like this. It's just that I have something else for you to remember. But let's do the exercise first, okay? So let's see. You solved the exercise, everybody solved it? Yes, right, okay, cool, let's see. Number one, I work in the bank that is, Cesar, please read, read sentence number one. Okay. Uh, I work in the bank. I, I, I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrios Street. Perfect. Number two, please 
É, Eliana. The factory is located in a, liber in a libertad. Perfect. In. Thank you. In. Number three, let's see. Mayra. We see you at training room or at the cafeteria. Perfect. At, at. Excellent. Number four, let's see. Daniel. And I work in the company that is in that town. Is at town. In, in town. town. In town. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Daniel. Number five, let's see. Who's missing? Jennifer, number five. My relatives go to the mall that is on the Ros Roswell Street. Okay, perfect. Now guys, please remember that you will have an extra activity for tomorrow. Hello Vicente, welcome. Hello teacher, sorry. No problem, no problem. Just let me check here that you are here. Okay, Vicente present. Excellent. Thank you teacher. You're welcome. Great to have you. Okay, let's see. For tomorrow, guys, please be ready to take note because this is a homework and I'm sorry, I'm not leaving big homeworks, but this one for tomorrow, I need it. It's very important that we do it. And I will share it with you. Still working on page 40, okay? you are going to create your own map with your workplace on it and the places of buildings that surround it okay so for tomorrow i need you to make a small drawing perhaps you can take a picture and share it because you are going to explain where you work Okay, you are going to give the, the location or your workplace. You don't need to be specific on the name of the street. I mean, you can change that. But I need you to be able to explain to your classmates the place where you work. Is it clear the homework? ¿Se entiende la tarea? Yes? Usted me hace un dibujo con su lugar de trabajo. Y póngame edificios que están alrededor. Because you are going to explain, okay, the places that surround your workplace. Or, if you don't want to put your workplace, si no queremos poner nuestro lugar de trabajo, choose a popular location. Escoja un lugar popular, common, que sea conocido. And explain the places. But that's for tomorrow. At the beginning of the class, you are going to get into groups and you are going to explain that to your classmates because I need to hear you using on, in, at, okay? And the best way for you to learn it is using it, applying it, explaining. With four sentences, it's okay, okay? Four sentences is perfect. Cuatro oraciones es suficiente. Remember, this class, today's class is to get the vocabulary. La clase es más que todo la de este día para que tomemos el vocabulario. The rest of the days we are going to be practicing, applying it. Lo vamos a estar practicando, aplicando, ¿ok? Is it clear? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? I see some faces like, mm. For sure. Estamos seguros. Yes? Okay. Don't forget, that's for tomorrow. And if you come late to the class, don't worry. We are going to wait for you, and when you connect, you will do it. Y si viene tarde a la clase, no se preocupe. Lo vamos a esperar, y cuando se conecte, lo hace. 
okay? But you are not safe from that. No se me salva. And if you don't come tomorrow, day after you do it, but you do it. El siguiente día lo hacemos, pero lo hacemos. The idea is for you to practice it, remember. And that's the idea. If you don't apply it in real life situations, you won't be able to use it. Si usted no lo aplica en situaciones de la vida diaria, no lo vamos a aprender. You're not going to get a, a command of it. No lo vamos a dominar. And the idea is for you to apply it, to know it, okay? So let's see. I'm still fighting with this. Let me see which is, okay, we are going to do it like this because I need to share this with you. Can you see this image? Podemos ver esta image? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. I don't show it as a presentation because it shows smaller. No se las pongo como presentación porque se ve más pequeña. Okay? This is mostly the exact representation on when and how to use in, on, at. You have here for time, and you have here for location. This is last week, time, okay? This is this week, location. In, general, bigger. In England, in London, in Chinatown, in country, in, for city, in the city, in the neighborhood. On, more specific, smaller on Oxford Street, on the corner of, on streets or avenues. Or you use at, it's very specific. When you give the address, 734 Oxford Street, at the store, okay? You use at when you are talking about address, specific location. You use on for streets or avenues. You use in for country, city, or neighborhood. Let's do something so you can have it all, okay? Uh, I will make, who's working with a computer? ¿Quién tiene una, quién está trabajando con una computadora? So I can make it like this. Oh, well, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take a picture of it so you can have it. And let's see. Okay, guys. I send you the picture, this image, so you can have it, so that way you are not writing down, okay? Remember, you use in when you talk about the country, a city, or a neighborhood, on when you talk about streets or avenues, at when you talk about address or a specific location. Remember, in is general, on is more specific, at is very, very specific. That's why I told you in the explanation, when you use at, you're talking about the exact location, okay? I send you a picture of it. I see that Jenny's like, what? Any question? Alguna pregunta? This is the moment, this is the moment. Teacher, lo que sucede es que el manual lo quise bajar no lo tengo, entonces no. Y lo quise bajar y no me aparece en la, en la plataforma. Te lo mandé hace un ratito en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, no, no está en la plataforma. Eso. No, porque identificamos el problema. So I send them to the, to the WhatsApp group. Ah. Ok. Ok. Because there okay. was a problem in the platform. Also, right now, just I just send you that picture, that little triangle. 
este pequeño triángulo, también se los envié en la picture, so you can have it. I don't know if all of you are able to check it right now, but you will have it. No sé si todos lo pueden usar ahorita, porque algunos se conectan en el phone, but you can have it there. You will have it there. Sí, yo también. That's going to help you for the homework. Se los mando porque eso les va a servir para la tarea. ¿Ok? Ok, gracias. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. According to that, we are going to do a small exercise. Let me see. Okay, no, I'm sorry, it's not that one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to share, it's the same image, but not in that presentation. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see, at, it, or on. We're going to do the exercise. Let's see. Did you learn something? What is it going to be here? At, in, or on? What is the correct one? At. No se ve bien, teacher. Okay, let me... Oh. Perhaps if I make it bigger. Veamos si lo hacemos más grande. What about now? Yes. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. Okay. Did you learn something? Andres, tell me. Add in on. Add. Ah, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Cesar, number two, don't put all your eggs. In? In one basket. Perfect. One basket. Excellent. Jennifer, Eric is studying? In university. In the university. Or you can say at the university. Okay. Number four, let's see, let's see. Number four goes to, let me just put it here so I can see everybody who's in the class. Okay, number four, Ileana, I live in, oops, I'm sorry. Ah, ya me digo, yes, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got excited. So for you, Ileana, it's number five. Is John still? In... in per perfect. Bell. Bell. Okay, excellent. Number six. Uh, I read Jenny. Number six is for you. I read it. In a book. In a book. Perfect. Now let's see. Mayra, number seven. James Meadows. In the top. Oh, remember, Mayra, it's specific. At. At, at the door, yes. At the door. Thank you very much. Vicente, number eight. Um, Janet is at home right now. Perfect, excellent. Janet is at home right now. Let's see. Uh, Carlos, I was stuck in, on, or at. ¿Cuál de las tres? I was stuck in that traffic jam for hours. Perfect, Carlos. Let's see, Anna. Matthew was? Anna. Hello.
oh, perhaps he's having problems with the connection. Let's see, now again, Cesar, number 10. Uh, Matthew was at work when I... When I called. When I called. Thank you. Now let's check the vocabulary again. Did you learn something at school? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Eric is studying at the university or in the university. I live at 12 Columbus Street. Is that right? <laughs> when we talk Teacher, about the street. It's on. Ah, exactly. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. I live on 12 Columbus Street. Is John still in bed? I read it in a book. James met us at the door. Janet is in home right now. Is that correct? No. But is that correct? Janet is at home, remember. Janet is at home right now. I was stuck. Uh, that expression, that's a verb, to be stuck. It could be like uh, estar trabajo. Yeah, estar trabajo. In that traffic jam. En el congestionamiento. Okay. Now let's see. This we are going to see it perhaps another day of the week, but just for you to remember. When we use on, we refer to something that is on, encima de. Above, it's also encima de, but there's a, a distance, okay? Now, let me explain this better. Okay, look. Look at the pen. Right now, it's on my head. Right now, it's above my head. Okay? You see the difference? On my head, above my head. There's a space. Okay? That's when you use above. And the other one was over. Over is encima. But how can I explain this? I'm gonna explain this. On and over means encima. But when you use over, you are talking about a layer. Cuando hablamos de over, estamos hablando de una capa. Okay? Like when you are... Over, yes. Es como cubrir. Yes, could be. Could be. Cubrir. Yeah, like I put the blanket over myself. Como decir que me pongo la, la, la sábana sobre. Okay? And those are kind of weird. It's like under. Look. Right now, the pen is under my hand, no distance. Okay? Está bajo mi mano. No hay una distancia. Está under. The pen is below my hand. There's a distance. Below. I am just clarifying this because although the manual refers mostly to the prepositions, to the very most simple prepositions, uh, I think that we need to remember them all. It's better for us. So let's continue. In front of, al frente de, in front of. Like right now, I have you all in front of me. Beside. Beside. Al lado de. 
o a un lado. You see, below and under. And then we have behind, behind. Some people pronounce this word behind, okay? So be careful with that one because it can be pronounced differently. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see the location of the pen. Cesar, how's the pen right now? Uh, under. The pen? The pen is under. On. Está on, encima. on. Está encima. Yes, yes. Okay. It's the too small. It's too small. Es muy pequeño. Okay, look. The bottle is on my hand. Okay? Now, let's see. In this moment, where's the bottle, Jenny? Below. Behind. Behind. Remember, behind. atrás de. Okay? Okay. Now, what okay. about in this moment? Referring to my hell, Jennifer. De acuerdo a mi cabeza, ¿cómo está la botella? Jennifer. No recuerdo la palabra. Okay, let's see. Two words for expressing that. Dos palabras para expresar esa idea. Besides. Or when you are talking about buildings or persons, they are next to. I mean, between beside and next to, no difference. Okay? Beside and next to, no difference. Con respecto a esas dos no hay diferencia. Sí, yes. Pero, sorry. Puede volver a poner la imagen para, para yes, sure. yes, sure. No para, problem. No problem. No problem. With pleasure. Thanks. Okay. This part or the next? Uh, both. Okay, both. Let me see. Both. I'll make it smaller so we can see it all. Ah. Man, my screen is too small. Okay, let's make it like this. Better. You see it now? ¿Se ve bien ahora? Yes. Okay. Remember, we have on, above, over, in front of. Beside, below, under, no. behind. Diego, apagame. No. Under, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Under. Mm -hmm. The difference between below and under is that in below there's a space. Ambas son abajo, but in below there's a space. In under, no space. I will I will represent it to you, for you. Can I go back to the main room? Podemos irnos ya al main room? Okay. Yes, thanks. Under and below, look. My head is under the bottle. Mi cabeza está abajo de la botella. No space. Below. My head is below. Ok. Mi cabeza está abajo de la botella. Pero there's a space. Ok. Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Ok, guys. Now. We are going to make a small like review and practice at the same time, okay? Right now, I'm going to divide you in groups of three. And you are going to, as a group, 
explain to me the location of two different places. You choose the places. ¿Ok? Lo voy a dividir en grupos de tres. Y ustedes me van a decir la ubicación de dos lugares diferentes. ¿Ok? You're going to tell me it's in this street, next to, in front of. ¿Ok? You choose the places. Places that you know of. Lugares que ustedes conocen. ¿Ok? But when we come back, I will ask one person, two persons from the group to tell me different location. Just one of you is going to be free. Solo uno se me va a salvar. ¿Ok? Let's better make it in pairs. Mejor hagámoslo en pareja. It's going to be funnier. ¿Ok? ¿You ready? ¿Is everything clear? ¿Se entiende? ¿Yes? Ok, let's see. Let's do it, okay. Three places. Two places, two places. Two places, okay. Yes. Thanks. Let me check. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, guys, ready? Let's do it. Get in the groups. Hi Claudia. I think she's at work. Creo que todavía oh, está en el trabajo. Nice. Uh, so it's just between the two. Okay. That uh, place in uh, and anything. Any place. Any place. You choose. Okay. It's your option. Yeah, you press my Okay. Beside at Pizza Hut. Beside Pizza Hut. Beside Pizza Hut. Okay, you don't say beside at. Okay. Beside Pizza Hut. Eh, 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 eh. Um, Sería on o above eh, paseo general escalón. On. Yes. On. On. Uh -huh. Y eh, below eh, Avenue Roosevelt. Roosevelt Avenue. Roosevelt Avenue. Que sería Velo. 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 Un paseo y atrás. Al uh -huh. bajar, me está diciendo al bajar. Eh, visa, no, dije Bisay, Pizza Hut. Pero me dijo eh, Below. Below, eh, Alameda, ah, eh, Roosevelt Avenue. Ok, down the way. Al bajar, la Alameda. Al bajar. Roosevelt. Down the way. Ok. Check on the chat, I put it down the way, al bajar. Down the way. Eh, y este, no sé qué más hay ahí. Eh, the other place, next. Ok, otro. Okay, you ready? Not yet. Not yet. Two minutes. Not yet. Two minutes. Okay. And you? Santa Ana. Peon Santa Ana. Santa Ana. 
Okay. Is on. Yes. Ese está en la Avenida Independencia Sur, se llama. Sería. Is on. In the it's on Independence, Independence South Avenue. Independence South Independence, Avenue. Independence, Independence South Avenue. Independence South Avenue. Avenue. Perfect. Avenue. In front of Metro Centro Santa Ana. Oh yeah, it's true. It's big. Is huge, a grande. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Metro Centro Santana and next to Electrolab Medic. No. Intercontinental. Uh -huh. Hotel. Ah, no, hotel, hotel Intercontinental. Uh -huh. It's located in the Boulevard Los Héroes in front. No, it's located on the. Just on. Is? No, it's located on Boulevard Los Héroes. Not No, no need. There's no need. No es necesario. Okay. Ah, it's located on. Boulevard Los On, Héroes. Actually, it's Los Héroes Boulevard. Oh, Boulevard. 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 Oh, Jennifer, you are tired. Yes, teacher, I sick. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Héroes. Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Thanks. Ahí tiene. Teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, in, in case of the number of the One. streets, eh, is seen as English or Spanish? English. For example, independence. Uh, eh, for, for example, as I say, Los Héroes. Boulevard Los Héroes puede ser eh, the, the Heroes Boulevard. No. Los Héroes Boulevard. Los Héroes Boulevard. Boulevard. Remember, the okay. given name, the given name doesn't change. El nombre no cambia. Ok? El nombre propio no cambia. Los Héroes okay. Boulevard. Uh -huh. Ok? En el caso de Independencia, Avenida Independencia es un nombre propio. You can say Avenida Independencia. Some people will change it, like Independence Avenue. Because it's common but in the case of los mm -hmm. héroes never it's like uh, let's see Teacher. another one yes pero en este caso no es porque generalmente se sabe que las calles tienen mayor rango que las avenidas no 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 it doesn't no. have anything to do with it Tomorrow we are going to be more specific with addresses. I will bring some addresses for us to practice and tomorrow we are going to work with there is and there are. That is going to help us to be more specific when giving the information, okay? Because uh, like tomorrow we are going to do different exercises. Like I will ask, uh, let's see, Cesar, tell me, is there a restaurant close to your job, to your workplace? Is there any restaurant work close to your workplace? And you're, you will no. have to explain to me. But what about, is there a bank close no. to your workplace? No. Yeah, there's no, not. No, no, no. Uh, no, I, I, in, 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 uh, uh, no business. Industries. 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 Oh, really? Only, only industries. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll think about something. I don't know what it is. What about okay. close to your house? Ah, uh, close, close in my house. Yes. Uh, I, I has a. Is there a supermarket? Yes, I remember there's a supermarket. 
Okay, yes, uh, uh, dispensa, don Juan. Okay, electos. so tomorrow I will ask you something like this. Is there a supermarket close to your house? And you will have to give me the instructions. You're going to, you're, first you're going to tell me, yes, there is. There's one like, and you're going to explain. We're going to okay. make it bigger. Right now we are being just specific on the street. Okay, on the location. Tomorrow we are going to make it part of a conversation. Okay, that's why this class today has been like a little bit slow. Esta clase hoy se ha sentido un poquito lenta, because it's been just about vocabulary. But yes. tomorrow we get the grammar point. Mañana nos enfocamos en el punto gramatical, and we are going to start to make it into conversation. And the rest of the week is going to be conversation mostly. Okay, so don't worry. I know that this class is kind of tiring. Esta clase se siente un poquito cansada because it's been a lot of vocabulary today. Ha sido muchísimo vocabulario. Well, Vicente came late, a little bit late, but at the beginning, I mean, almost the whole first hour was just vocabulary. Casi toda la primera hora fue solo vocabulario. But you're going to enjoy it. Don't worry. Tomorrow is going to be nice. I think it's time. So let's go back to the main room. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Great teacher. Okay, let's see who's going to be first. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I know. The, the more, let's see, quien será? There's Claudia, there's everybody. Oh, yes. The best comp today. Persona mejor peinada, let's see. Oh, that's Jenny. Jenny, I iron her hair. So Jenny, that's you. You're gonna start, tell me. <laughs> okay. And and I see that Jennifer is right now like this. Mother. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Please Jenny, start. Okay. I work, I work uh, with Daniels. Okay, e... tell me one of the address the location plaza mundo okay where's plaza mundo uh, in front of uh, walmart okay beside uh, del ejército boulevard mm. <laughs> along 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 yes a lo largo de, a lo largo de. or you can say on Al Okay, del Ejército Boulevard. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very y... much. No, 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 just okay. one, just one, just one, relax. Or still more about that one? <laughs> Todavía más explicación para mí. Sí, behind Sierra eh, Morena. Mm. Atrás. Yeah, behind Sierra Morena. No, behind y Sierra Morena. Behind y Sierra Morena. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see the most serious. Who's the most serious? Quién es el más serio, la más seria? Hmm. Who is it? Let's see, let's see. Iliana, you are very serious right now. Yes, she was like this. So, your turn, Iliana. <laughs> Tell me. Um, Carlos Alberto, he, he worked on the trip to work, San Juan o Pico. Okay, on the road, on la carretera. Asia. Okay, on the road to. On the world to, road. San Juan o Pico. Road. road. On the road. On the road to San Juan o Pico. On the road to San Juan o Pico. The supermarket is on Los Chorros Strip. Okay. Hmm. Actually, that's also a carretera, no? Road. Yes. On the road. Carretera. On the road. 
Perfect. Let's see, Vicente. Thank you very much, Eliana. Hello. Tell me, Vicente. Okay. Freon Santa Ana is on Independence South Avenue in front of Metro Centro Santa Ana and next to Electrolab Medic. Okay, perfect. That's very specific. I won't get lost. I no me perderé. He's, very, he's being very specific. Thank you, Vicente. Now okay. let's see who's going to be next. Okay, the more sleepy one. Que tenga más sueño. Jennifer. Jennifer is very tired. No, Jennifer is sick, she told me. She's got a headache. Please, Jennifer, tell me. Okay. I work into Anna. Okay, I work with. I Anna. work with Anna. Uh, the place is in Aguilares. Okay. The church is along Main Street between the pharmacy and supermarket. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mayra, your turn. Andres buys his coffee. Okay, tell in, me where. In the coffee shop. Okay. The coffee shop is in Amazona Avenues. Is on Amazona Avenues. Okay, excellent. You see more information. That's right. Now we know where to find you, Andres. Ya sabemos dónde encontrarlo. At the coffee shop. Please, Andres, your turn. Tell me. Uh, I'm working with Mayra. Okay, tell me. That uh, she uh, shopping the supermarket is next to the park. Next to the park. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Daniel, please. Hi, teacher. Please tell me one of the address, the locations. The location, the Jennifer. Okay, tell me. Um, Galerias. Okay. Um, on Casa Station 1, about the development of Zocalo. Okay, it's Zocalo. Mm. A good point of reference. Thank you very much. Anna. Hello, Anna. Hello. Please tell me. Hello. I I wore uh, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, Perdón, lo digo, le digo lo que ella me dijo o lo, o, o lo que yo hice. Yours, if you want. Ok. Ok, ok. Hotel, Hotel Inter, Intercontinental is located on Los, los Héroes Boulevard. In front Metro Centro. Uh, eh, solamente. Okay, located. 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 Ubicado. Okay, thank you very much. Carlos, please. Iliana. Eh, she, Iliana, uh, she works in the ho hotel that is on Avenue Revolution next to the President uh, the Teatro. Theatre. 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 Perfect. Excellent. Very well. Who's missing? Quien falta? Yes, sir. You are missing. Please. He was conceited. <laughs> okay, 
in Metro Centro, San Salvador, is on Los Heroes Boulevard. Okay. In front of Intercontinental Hotel. Hotel. Uh, hotel. hotel. Okay, hotel. Next to Metro Sur. Okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, remember, please, everybody, I know that it's hard and I know that I've been saying it many times and many times and I will continue until we get it. Of, remember, of, not of, of. Okay? Of, remember, the pronunciation of that is not of. Si usted tiene la O y la F, la pronunciación de la F es como una V. Okay? Of. Si usted le da el sonido de F, me está diciendo apagado. Okay? When you have it with double F, the F sounds. Cuando tiene la doble F, es que suena la F. But if it just got one, it's all. Remember, all. Okay? What's questions up to now? Any question? No? Okay, guys. Uh, we are almost done, but not yet. Estamos casi terminando, pero aún no. Let me see. I just need to check something. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Jennifer, the week number three, the unit three, section three in the platform. You're still missing one activity or two, I guess. Let's work on That's it. That's easy. Oh, really? When? That's easy, pero hasta la noche. Oh, okay. Ayer, el sábado en la noche. Okay, perfect. I will check it and update it. According okay. to this, let me see who else. Uh, I got many, a hundred. That's great. Let's see who else, who else. Marcos. And let's see. Daniel, Daniel, I need you to please uh, work on the platform and please, if you got any question, ask me because remember, this is last week, so we need to cover everything. And the same goes for everyone. Please remember, we need to work in the platform. If there's any problem, let me know. Sometimes there appear pro problems with the apostrophe. If you have any problem with the apostrophe, sometimes you need to configure it, your keyboard. A veces tenemos que configurar el teclado por el apostrofe. Because that happened to Jenny, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't remember who else. No recuerdo quién más me hizo esa observación. In some situations, we can fix it, okay? I mean, because if we try many different devices and it doesn't change, you let me know and I and I send the report so they can fix it. Si hay algún problema serio con la plataforma, igual háganme saber. Remember, there comes the final exam. Ya viene el examen final. Okay? So that means that this week you have the five activities, the participations in the forum, and the final exam. Besides that, for tomorrow, you have a homework. Para mañana también tenemos una tarea extra. So please, let's work. Now, I'm sorry if this class has felt kind of slow. Disculpen si esta clase se ha sentido muy lenta. As I was explaining to some of you, today's class was mostly the acquisition of vocabulary. You remember we have covered a lot of vocabulary. Esta clase está enfocada en adquirir el vocabulario. Tomorrow we are going to start working with there is and there are. And we are going to use on, in, at, because we are going to relate everything. Mañana vamos a ver cómo comienza a encajar. And the rest of the week, we are going to focus on speaking, conversation, because that's mainly the idea of this, for you to have a conversation, but you need the base. You need the basic information. You need the vocabulary. That's what we have covered today. So don't feel down if you feel like, man, it's long and stressful. I know it's Today's class has been like tedious for a few seconds. Yo sé que esta clase se ha sentido un poquito tediosa por momentos. But remember, we need the vocabulary. And 
I am sure that some of the words we saw today you didn't know. Estoy seguro que algunas de las palabras que vimos ahora no las conocían. So, you are right now acquiring the vocabulary that we are going to implement for the rest of the classes. Now, any questions about the vocabulary? Any questions about the class? ¿Alguna pregunta con la clase, el vocabulario? Please let me know. Díganme. Remember, it's very important for you to ask any doubt. You can ask it here or you can send me a message. Remember, uh, let's make a small review, a short review. We have worked this week on La previous week, we were working with WH questions. We worked with uh, the activities in the workplace, the schedule. We are going to also use time. This week, we are going to wrap up all the contents together. Esta semana vamos a unir todos los contenidos, okay? Because if you have noticed, we are using more the questions in the yes, no questions, the questions will be, the WH questions. Okay, we are talking about the daily activities. The simple present is very important. We, the whole level, we have worked just with one tense. Todo este mes hemos trabajado solo con un tiempo verbal, simple present. So, but right now we are making it bigger because you are, we are using it in a different context. So please, for tomorrow, don't forget your homework. Okay, in a little page, do the activity, okay? I know that some of you like Vicente, I know, I'm sure that Vicente is going to bring us something special because he knows those type of things. He is an architect, so he says, ah, oh, this is piece of cake. But it's será muy fácil. For some of us, it's going to be more difficult, but let's try to do it. So the best prepared you are for tomorrow, the better, the better class we are going to have. Remember, it won't take you more than five minutes just to make a little drawing, okay? So guys, thank you very much for being patient with me. Gracias por ser pacientes conmigo. I'm seeing you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 See you Bye. tomorrow. See you.